are you looking for the right way to set up Shopify payments, even though Shopify payment is not available in your country? You just click on the perfect video because in this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how to set up Shopify payments. We are going to cover everything concerning Shopify payments and how to set it up from any country. Anywhere you're watching this video from, you can do this from the comfort of your home. Shopify payment is one of the convenient payment gateways for Shopify users. It eliminates the use of third-party payment processors like Stripe or PayPal. So this payment gateway is very reliable and trusted. But the downside about this is that Shopify payment is not available in all countries. Just few countries like United States, United Kingdom, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, mostly European country. So if you live in a country whereby Shopify payment is not available, stay tuned because I'm going to guide you through the process on how to get Shopify payment and use it to receive payment from your customers. Because using Shopify payment increase your earnings in your store. There are different methods to receive payment when you activate Shopify payment. Now let me guide you how to go about this. Shopify gives you a lot of ways to accept payment. But I'm going to group it into three. Yeah, to make it easier. The first one is Shopify payment, which allows you to accept payment from credit or debit card and also mobile wallet like Apple Pay or Google Pay. This payment processor is provided by Shopify and it's popularly used by Shopify users. The second option is PayPal. PayPal is a popular payment processor. Customers love to make payment through PayPal because it offers buyer's protection. And the last but not the least is manual payment. This payment option is suitable for local businesses or businesses done offline. They can make payment through bank deposits or money order or even cash on delivery. So this payment option is for businesses done offline. I hope you got the point. Now let me guide you step by step on how to set up Shopify payments from anywhere you're watching this video from. The first thing to do is to head over to your Chrome browser and search Shopify. So this is the first website. Click on it. Or you can use the link in the description of this video to sign up. Look at the top right side. You're going to see start for free. Click on that. So right here it says start your free trial. Get three days free. Then three months for one dollar. So you can sign up with your email address or you sign up with Google. Or you sign up with Apple. Or you sign up with Facebook. I'm going to sign up with my email address. I selected the first option. Now I put my email address and password. Then click create Shopify account. These are different plans Shopify offer. Basic, growth, and advanced. I'm going to go for the basics. Anyone that suits you, you're going to see the advantages beneath it. So just simply click on try basics. Right here it says try basic for $1, 3 days free. Then $1 per month for 3 months. Basic plan auto renews. October 26, 2025 at $27 per month. So make sure you read the instructions before you put your card details. So the best card to do this is without pay. This is the best card for online payments. I'm going to leave it in the description of this video. This card make online payment very easy. Right here, so I've been asked, where would you like to say? So choose the one that best suits you. I want to say an online store. So I selected the first one. Then click next. Is this shop for a new or existing business? This is a new business. I selected it and click next. What would you plan to say? Choose your plan of what you want to say. Or you just simply click on I will decide later. Then click next. And this is it. You are all set. Subscription successful. We just successfully subscribed to Shopify. This is how your homepage will look like. The next thing to do is to head over to your email address. The email address which you used to sign up on Shopify. We need to verify it. It's very important. Write it says confirm email or simply copy the link beneath here. Paste it in a new browser and verify your email address. So I click on confirm email. Over here it says your email has been verified. Welcome to Shopify. Where would you want to go? I want to head over to my store. I click on your store. Look below. You're going to see settings. Click on settings. Look above. You're going to see payment. Click on payment. As you can see right here, under this payment, you can't see Shopify payment. This is just payment providers, supported payment method, payment capture method. We can't find Shopify payment gateway in this section. In order to get a Shopify payment on these payment providers, we need to switch our country 
from Nigeria to United States or whatever country you live, you're going to switch it to United States. To do this, head over to General. Look at this section that says billing address. Over around it, you're going to see the edit button. Click on that edit button. Under this country slash region, click on this section. Now select United States. When you look above, you're going to see changing your store country may affect the subscription fee and billing currency you have access to. This only applies to future changes to your Shopify account. You will continue to be charged the subscription fee of the country you signed up in. I hope you got the point. Now right here, we have to switch this address. If you look below, you're going to see address. Just change this address to any address in the United States. Just write anything. Shopify will give you options. Select any address and this is it. I just selected this one. Then click on save and save it instantly. So we just switch our location from Nigeria to United States. After doing this, head over to payment. As you can see, the first option is Shopify payment. This is because we switched to United States. So we have Shopify payments right here. When you scroll down, you're going to see paper, activate paper. We also have manual payment method. In order for you to activate Shopify payment as a non-US citizen, you need a US-based LLC. You also need an EIN, which simply means employer identification number. You also need an ITIN. Formally, you can use your EIN in place of ITIN, but it's not done that way anymore. You need an ITIN, which is individual taxpayer identification number. So you're going to have EIN and ITIN. You also need a US bank account. And also, you need proof of address. You need a physical location in the United States to verify your address. And you need to verify your identity also, which you can use your passport or Java license. But if you're a non-US citizen, the preferred option is your passport. So you need to use your passport to verify your identity. So these are the information required to set up Shopify payments from any country. Whether you're a US citizen or non-US citizen, you can do this from the comfort of your home. The question is, how do I set up my US LLC? Get my EIN, get my ITIN, get my US bank account. It's very easy to get this information. Click the second link in the description of this video. It's going to redirect you to Doula. Doula is the best website to form your US LLC and get your EIN and also your ITIN and also set up your US bank account. Use Doula to set up your US LLC for peace of mind. The registered agents are reliable and trusted. With Doula, I set up my LLC and I have all information to set up Shopify payments, which I'm going to guide you step by step in this video. So stay tuned. Now let me show you how to go about this. All you simply have to do is to click on Activate Shopify Payments. Right here it says Complete Account Setup. Submit information about your business. Click on Submit Details. Right here, we are being asked, what type of business do you have? In this box, it's saying individual slash supervisor. Click on this down arrow. We need to select LLC. So select LLC, which is the second option. Now click on Next. The next step is Business Details. So register name. Input the register name on your LLC, which is your company name. Input it right here. After doing that, store name. This is optional. The third step is to input your EIN. Once you set up your LLC in the United States, you're going to get an EIN. So input that information right here. You also need to input your phone number, a US phone number. Use the link in the description of this video to get a US phone number. And the last but not the least is business address. So you need to input the address on your LLC. All this information, you're going to get it after setting your LLC with Doula. After doing that, you click next. The third step is industry type. So category. Select the category which your business is in. My is clothing and accessory. I selected that. Subcategory. Select the one that best suits you. I'm going to select men's and boys clothing. Description of products or services. So input the description of your products or services. Right it says start with I say. I'm going to simply write, I sell men clothing and accessory. Store phone number. So input your store phone number. After doing that, click next. The fourth step is account representative. So first name, last name. So make sure this is the first name on your LLC and last name on your LLC. 
if you look below you're going to see this person owns 25 percent or more equity in the business toggle that on we need to switch this to 100 so write 100 percent i own 100 percent of equity in this business so make sure that this two is double on and you switch this to 100 if you look below you're going to see date of birth input your date of birth your month day and year the next one is job role input your role in the business input it in that box the next one is social security number this social security number we need to input our itin you're going to put your itin right here under this social security number so that is why it's important to get an itin it's very important so this is my email address and the next one is phone number input your us phone number right here you also need to input residential address so input the address on your us llc input the information right here after putting this information you click on next right it says equity ownership a maker merim account representative executive equity 100 percent it says right here you have reached 100 percent equity just simply click on next so right here you're going to see all informations about your business all information which we added earlier you're going to see the summary right here just simply scroll down when you scroll down you're going to see verification upload the accepted document business document under this business document the accepted business document must be jpg png or pdf 10 mb or lesser when you set up your llc with doula you're going to have this document so we're going to use this document to verify our business simply click on upload upload business document upload a valid government issued document that includes this exact details registered name so this is the registered name of my business employer identification number ein so the business document must have this information and address so this address of my llc so business document i should select the business document so this is it you can use either irs letter 147c or irs SS4 confirmation letter. I'm going to select the first one, which is IRS letter 147C. Click on add file and select the file and upload it seamlessly. After doing that, you click done. Now click on confirm after uploading the information. Click confirm again. Scroll down. You're going to see this section that says confirm your identity, residential address document, identity document. So you need to provide this information. For this residential address document, I'm not going to submit this information. We're going to submit other information except this. Since we are going to submit 90% of the information asked by Shopify, we won't have issue just because of this residential address document. So I'm going to upload my ID document. I will leave this residential address document. Click on upload. Right at says upload identity document. Upload a valid document that includes this exact details. Legal name. A make and marry date of birth this date of birth so this is it identity document you can use your driver license passport or state issued id card i'm going to select passport so make sure that it's clear and visible click add file and upload your passport upload the front page of your passport make sure it's visible after doing that you click done so right now simply click on confirm so this is it we are to the final step after providing this information, submit for verification. So you click on submit for verification and this is going to take less than 24 hours. Shopify will verify your information. Your information will be verified and your Shopify payment gateway will be approved. You can start receiving payment through Shopify payments. See how easy it is to set up Shopify payments from any country. If you got value from this video, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell. Also like this video if you enjoyed it. Now check out this video next. That video will show you how to set up a US PayPal account from any country. Another option to receive premium from Shopify is through PayPal because customers love it. Check out this video to learn how to get a PayPal account so that you can add it to your Shopify store and receive payment from different methods. Check out this video to learn how to get a US PayPal account from the comfort of your home. Even though you're a non-US citizen, you can do this from the comfort of your home. I will see in that video. Peace out.